Hey guys, thanks for joining me. It's Tasha with a date with my craft room. I am back with a, another haul from my local scrapbook store. Um, I went a little Christmas crazy. I wanted to go ahead and get my stuff for my December daily this year um, before everything you know sold out. So um, I went shopping at my local scrapbook store called Artco here in Tacoma. So let me show you what I got. I'm gonna set these things aside. And I'll show you the first thing that I picked up was the new 2017 Snap album from Simple Stories. This is their design this year. And I really love this album. It's got this beautiful Mary on the front. Let me take this off. It's got snowflakes and a gorgeous wood green. It's, it's not as dark on camera. It looks a little bit darker. It's a little bit lighter in real life. So, and I just really, really like this. It's got a silver accents, so it's got a silver nameplate and silver corners. This was a really great deal because I paid $17 for it, and it comes with some inserts, um, some pocket pages, and it comes with these really cool inserts. So, let me show you this candy stripe. I just absolutely love this candy cane stripe in the, in the inside. I think it adds so much to the the whole feel of the album. So this um, has inserts that coordinate with their 2017 Christmas collection called Very Merry, I think. And um, it comes with this really super cute Santa, this gorgeous snow scene. This has got to be one of my favorite things ever. It's this buffalo plaid die cut that says December. I would have bought the album just for this alone. So I'm super excited about that. Now their um, collection this year has this gorgeous floral accent. Um, I just really love it. It's got the red flower, the white, the pine cone with some, some like leaves and some pine behind it. I just think that that is the most gorgeous floral design. So that's accented throughout the collection. It's got this really super cute um, cocoa. Here's a little calendar for you to fill in. Classic red pickup. I like the traditional colors this year. Last year I went a little off kilter and uh, did some, uh, some uh, pastel colors in my um, December daily, which I don't think I ever shared my December daily, so I might do that before um, I start this one. And this one, oh, here's that floral. Isn't that floral just gorgeous? I am, like, I'm dying. I just love it so much. This one has a pocket. And then it also comes with 10 uh, clear pocket pages. It's a variety pack, so I just think it's a great price for what you get that comes with it. You get like the, the half and half page, you get the page with the, the three four by four or the three three by four or four of those. You get a couple of full pages. So that's what comes with this album if you guys are interested in purchasing this for your December daily. And um, yeah, I just love it. I'm so, so happy with that purchase. So um, to go along with that, I went ahead and there was two collections that I was eyeing this year. I was eyeing the Echo Park A Perfect Christmas and the Very Merry by Simple Stories. Now me being such a huge fan of crepe paper, you would have thought that I would go towards the Fa La La collection, but um, I just, I think I'm over the whole pinks and kind of bright colors for that type of feel. I think um, since I did it last year, I think this year I wanted to go back to traditional. So um, I went ahead and picked up um, some pieces from the uh, A Perfect Christmas Echo Park. It's by Lori Whitlock. And Lori Whitlock always has the greatest, like most awesomest designs. So like I said, it's got traditional colors. It's got some wood grain, some buffalo check, and a really pretty floral also in this collection. This paper pad has 24 double-sided sheets, and I'm going to flip through, and I just love that floral. That is so, so pretty. So we'll just flip through real quick, and I'll give you an idea 
of the different designs. Really, really awesome plaids in this paper stack. And another thing that really drew me to this collection was that little Rudolph. He is just simply adorable. Some presents, some black and white little tags you can cut out. That will be cute. Really nice holly pattern. And I love this wood green with the different um, traditional elements like Rudolph, a snowman. I really like that Santa. He really looks like a holly jolly Santa. Super cute. And this plaid, I just can't get over the plaids. I love these plaids. This is a cut apart page. You can cut these apart for like little um, gift tags. Super, super cute. Cute, cute, cute. Another wood green. Really nice, kind of, it's almost swoopy, almost like an ornament. That's cute. Cut apart. And then back to the beginning. So I was really, really digging this collection. So I'm really happy I picked up the 6x6. Six six. I also picked up the chipboard accents. And there's that Santa again, super cute. Really great elements in this. The traditional um, red pickup, had to have that, love it. And then I love this little Rudolph. So, and then this wreath. I, I'm really, really loving that wreath. So there's the chipboard accents. And then I also have the six by six. Um, oh, sorry about the glare. Oh no. I'll put this over here. Um, what else? I also picked up the sticker sheet. The sticker sheet has a lot of the same elements. It's got the Rudolph, it's got the Santa. Love that wreath. Um, it's got the sleigh. Really, really awesome cut apart sheet, or not cut apart, sticker sheet. <laughs> and here's a little quick up close. So love these colors, really traditional. I like that it combines the chalkboard look and the wood grain in the same collection. So I'm really loving that. It's kind of like a mixture of the different trends. So let me share with you. Oh, and this is little puffy stickers I picked up from Pebbles. Um, I don't know what collection. This is their newest collection, I know for sure. I just don't know the name of it. But these puffy stickers were just adorable, and I could not not get them. And the colors matched perfectly with these collections that I had already picked out. So I just went ahead and picked them up. Love some puffy stickers. Now, I looked at the enamel shapes that came with this collection. I wasn't a fan of the enamel shapes. The enamel shapes just look weird to me. I would have rather have had puffy stickers. And so I think that's why I went ahead and picked up these Pebbles ones. So, um, let me show you the 12x12s. That's all of the kind of accessory stuff that I bought. So let me share with you the 12x12s that I picked up. Alright, so we'll start with this one. Um, I got a mixture of A Perfect Christmas and The Simple Stories. This is from um, A Perfect Christmas from Echo Park. This one is called Christmas Collage. Gorgeous plaid. And then it's got um, on the back, it's really nice wood grain. I just, I want to make this into a full page and just have this as um, an accent kind of layer. I don't see myself cutting this up into pieces. I just love it so much. This one is also from the Echo Park collection. It's called Perfect Plaid. And then on the back are these adorable Rudolphs. I love, love this one. This is actually from the Simple Stories collection called Very Merry. And then here's the back. This one is called um, Happy Holidays. This one is called Comfort and Joy. And it's this gorgeous floral piece that I just can't get enough of. So, love that. I got two of them. Um, just because I'd like to do a 12 by 12 layout with this. And then I'm also going to incorporate one of these into my um, December daily. And then on the back is this really um, awesome distressed uh, musical notes page. This is from um, Echo Park. Um... A Perfect Christmas, and this is their cut-apart sheet. 
and I really, really needed journaling cards because I have found myself every year buying everything under the sun for my December daily. And then I go to make my December daily and I don't have any like journaling cards. I don't have any three by fours or four by sixes to journal. So I was like, I'm not doing that this year. I'm going to buy me some journaling cards. So I picked up this cut apart page and I love this one. It's got the sleigh. This is a really nice journaling card. I can just throw these in as fillers. Super, super cute. And then here's the back, which I'm not going to use, but just so that you know what's on the back of it. This is also the Echo Park Cut Apart Sheet. This is from four by, uh, the 4 by 6 one. Love that. I love, I just love the colors and everything about these collections and they mesh so well together. See, side by side, here is the Simple Stories and here's the Echo Park. The color scheme looks great. Um, the aesthetic is kind of the same. So, and here's the back of that one. So another cut apart, love that Santa. He reminds me of the Coca-Cola Santa. Do you guys remember? So super cute. My grandpa worked for Coca-Cola and he used to bring home all kinds of these uh, Coca-Cola Santa coloring books. So cool, love it. There's the back of that one. And here's the four by six cut apart for the Simple Stories collection. Now last year, the Simple Stories collection had some red kind of holographic glitter accents. And you know what? I'm digging the fact that they didn't add any of those funky metallic accents to their collection. I really, really like this traditional kind of uh, red and green feel. And there's the back of that one. So the, that's all the papers for the Christmas lines um, that I picked out. Um, while I was there, I just happened to come across a really, really awesome line called Welcome Home, and it's by Cartabella. Now, um, I don't know if you guys know, I mean, everybody on the planet probably knows, but Chip and Joanna Gaines have a show called Fixer Upper. It's on HGTV. It is the best home improvement show I've ever seen. And it kind of hits home for me because I'm from the South. I'm from Louisiana, and their uh, main corporate, or their main um, market, and their headquarters is Waco, Texas. So it's not far from where I lived, and I just really like her farmhouse decor, like decoration style, is just amazing. So um, I saw this, and it is actually um inspired by joanna gaines farmhouse um decor style so i'm gonna flip through this and i'm gonna show you this is just it's the best farmhouse collection i've seen since jen hadfield's uh simple life it's got really really super cute stuff in here and joanna gaines is all about shiplap and it's got shiplap in the background here Here, here's the shiplap. So super cute. I really love these cut aparts. I think this is going to be a really great collection to play with. And um, I'm super excited because I'm actually going to Waco. Um, during Christmas, I'm visiting my brother in Texas. And we're going to drive to Waco and um, go to her market and everything. So I'm super excited. Um, their market is called Magnolia Market, and if you go to their website, she also sells stuff on their website, and God, her home decor stuff is awesome. So, I think the colors and everything is just totally inspired by Chip and Joanna Gaines, um, Magnolia Market and their show, and this floral is to die for. Oh, my god so I got the six by six for sure they also had the um, chipboard accents and um, it says farm it's got these little books tied together with flowers market gather just such a, a very clean design I love what Cartabella did with this I love it it's not like in your face farmhouse. It's very subtle 
and it's just so well designed. I got the sticker sheet, and the sticker sheet has this really, look at this, this is such a cool piece. I love, love this piece. Once again, some market, gather, home. I'm going to use this collection to scrapbook our visit there. So I am just completely psyched out about that. So that's all that I got for the um, accessories. And then I picked up some 12 by 12s. I'm kind of taking my time with this video. I hope you guys don't mind. If you want to fast forward at any time, feel free. I'm going to show you all the 12 by 12s that I picked up from the Cartabella Welcome Home Collection. Um, and then a couple more things. So this is the really gorgeous floral of that collection. It's just, oh my God. And the Cartabella, it's got that really nice texture, the linen texture, and really thick, really good, good quality cardstock. And here's the back. This is actually called Gather Flowers. So gorgeous. I got two of those. My goodness, I just couldn't. This is really super cool. It's chalkboard and it's got the, the wood frame outline. And there's the back. This is called Forever Home. It's got um, the, the, the greenery, the shiplap in the background. She loves herbs and she has like a greenhouse with herbs and everything, like an herb garden. And I just love that. I, just, I love how clean and simple it is. Okay, and this is her cut apart sheet, or Cartabella's cut apart sheet. I absolutely love the designs. So, so cute. This one's my favorite. The Magnolia Wreath, gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Here's the back, it's like this blueprint, obviously because they um, fix houses. They restore houses or, look how cute. This is the four by six cut apart. This is another gorgeous floral in the collection. This one's called Flower Market. Really, really cool cut apart strips. Here's the back of this. This one's called Border Strips. And then I got this wood green. This one's called Stay a While. And that is all for the Cartabella Welcome Home collection. I didn't see the ephemera there, otherwise I would have picked up the ephemera, so I'm a little bummed about that, but maybe I can pick that up online. I also picked up just two or three Halloween papers just because I just couldn't pass them up. Um, Authentique has a Halloween collection called Bewitched, and they have the packet, the 12 by 12 um, collection like packet for $21.99. And I was like, uh, no, it was $24.99. And I was like, that's a little, it's a little steep for my, uh, my taste. So I did pick up the cut apart sheet, which I'm absolutely in love with. So it's got these really gorgeous three by fours that are like totally vintage inspired. So I'm just really, really digging this, uh, this vintage kind of feel. And I'm still working on my Halloween album. It's, I mean, it's an October album. It's not necessarily an October daily, but we went to a haunted house the other day and I took a picture of the sign, so I'm going to add that in there. I also picked up a paper, a couple papers from um, Pebbles Midnight Haunting. Love, love, love that plaid. And then these butterflies are just gorgeous. I should have got the 6x6. Six six. And then this floral as well can be for fall or Halloween. It, I mean, it's just so super pretty. Love those. And then last but not least, I picked up this super duper cute die from Lawn Fawn. This is their mini wreath die. I think they just came out with this. And it's got the little wreath, it comes with a bow, and then some little circles to do for berries. So that is it guys. That's all that I picked up from my haul. Um, you guys want to see a couple of cards that I did? Um, let me show you. Just two Halloween cards that I had been working on. 
Um, this card that I picked up using the, the miniature Crazy Cats collection that I got from Michaels, I think. So I did some uh, Copic coloring. I Copic colored him. I wish I could have done better on the shading, but I masked off his head and then his feet so I could stamp the broom and the hat. Happy meow, meow, meowween. That is so hard to say. And um, so yeah, so I just combined meow and then stamped over the the hollow part. Then I added some bat sequins. Put his little fish in the inside. Super super cute. I love that. I'm gonna send that to my grandmother. And I put some googly eyes on him. So I did that one, and then I did this card. Um, this card was inspired by Amy R. from Prairie Paper and Ink. She does the best blending techniques. Um, I use the little crazy bird along with the crazy things. So I got the little pumpkin and the hat. I did not have a haunted house. So I actually traced this out on black paper, um, black cardstock, and cut it by hand. And I used an X-Acto knife and just cut the wonky windows. And I think it turned out good. So, and I did some ink blending. This is all, like, this is one layer, this whole ink blending. I um, cut a circle from masking paper from using my die cut machine. I put it on top and then I started blending. And then I peeled off the masking paper. And that's how I got my moon. I added some more of those uh, bat sequins. And I... Remember on my last haul video, I showed you the Spectrum Noir um, uh, glitter marker? Well, I used it, and look at the shimmer on that haunted house. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. And let's see, did I do anything on the inside? And then I did some uh, blending on the inside as well. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's my two cards. Thanks for checking out my videos, guys, um, and I will see you later. Bye. Happy crafting.